Hello and welcome to another FNAF Projects update video. That's right, it's a new month, which means I of course missed out on several informations on new projects coming out sometime this year. The sentence didn't really make any sense, but it's fine. I stayed up all night. I'm not gonna make any sense throughout this entire video. Anyway, so the people over on the FNAF Reddit, link down below, of course, have released information on various projects for FNAF that are going to be coming out pretty soon. I missed these. I missed some things. So we're going to be going over some things today, right now. Here we go. The first bit of information is 1.35 a.m. The third book in the Fazbear Freud series has a preview that you can go and look at right now. I have been very bad on making videos on reviews, summaries, and previews for the Fazbear Freud books. It is entirely my fault. I apologize 100%. Um, so whether or not I'm gonna do a video on this, I'm not entirely sure just yet, because I suck at doing those videos. <laughs> Funko is apparently making yet another FNAF board game. This game is titled Survive the Night. There's only one image provided for the game, and uh, it it's this. It's kind of just the logo. Wouldn't you believe it's based on the popular video game? I never would have thought, no clue what FNAF is. It, it does have a description though, so I'll read it out right now. Five Nights at Freddy's Survive the Night Game. You are the night shift security guard for a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and it is your duty to check the security cameras and keep the equipment in good working order. And beware the animatronics that activate on their own at night. Each turn, you'll check the cameras and react to the movements in the dark. Choose to turn on the lights or close doors to protect yourself, but watch out. Each reaction depletes your limited power. Keep Freddy and his friends out of your office until you can clock off at 6 a.m. So based on the description, it seems like it's going to be a turn-based survival game where everyone is either in separate rooms or they're all in the same office and they roll the turn presumably with a die or something, and then depending on what they get, they can do certain actions. None of this is official, I'm just speculating right now. Um, and then you can either check the lights, close the doors, look at the cameras, and then depending on what you do, certain amounts of power will be depleted from your overall power. I don't know. There's really not much to go off of. Uh, it does ship out in October, so we have that to look forward to, and it appears to be 17 United States dollars. We of course had Ultimate Custom Night that released on mobile devices, which we are currently doing a series on. Help Wanted News, that is right, that is entirely right. If you guys remember, a little bit ago, it was revealed that Help Wanted would be coming to the Oculus Quest, the Xbox, and the Nintendo Switch. Steel Wool Studios says that the Quest port is coming very, very, very soon. They just have a little bit more to work on. And then also, the Nintendo port is also only a few, quote, weeks away. Originally, a page was up on the Nintendo eShop for people to buy Help Wanted, or maybe they weren't able to buy it, I wasn't actually able to check it out. They quickly took it down, whoever, and they will put it back up once they are done with, um, with everything, and they did say it'll be up in a couple of weeks. Of course, I highly doubt, I'm 99.99999 repeating percent sure that it is going to be the flat version of Help Wanted for Xbox and the Switch. There's no way Help Wanted is going to work with the Nintendo Labo, and I'm pretty sure Xbox doesn't even have a VR headset of its own. Quest will obviously be uh, VR. Yeah, um, so here's the exact quote for the Quest board. They say, for Quest, we would love to say, but we are working closely with our partners, so we don't want to give a specific date just yet. But as the kids say here in California, heckin' soon. We can safely day, it is almost done, like, so very, very, almost, so almost, that if I sneeze slightly, it would cease being almost and become fully done. Quest launch is on the horizon. If the quest launch was a night in one of the offices, we would currently be at, like, 5.58 a.m., so very, very soon. They have not said anything about the Xbox port just yet, but uh, I'm assuming it's not going to be too far away either. Maybe at the most, like two or three months, but I'm pretty sure we can expect it very soon as well. Still not official though, so don't don't quote me on that. Ah uh, yes, and then we have another preview for the next Fazbear Fright book after 
1.35 a.m. and it is titled Step Closer. That's the one with Foxy on the cover. Um, again, dude, I fucking suck at making those videos. I just am completely lacking in the Fazbear Frights book videos, so, um, hopefully we can fix that by the time 1.35 a.m. rolls out, but, um, things aren't looking too good, so again, I might need to skip out on that as well. I'm sorry, dude, I freaking suck at those videos. I just, I cannot get them done. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. But speaking of Fazbear Fright, um, get away from all that bad news of me not being able to release videos, we have even more news. If you were upset that book five was the final book, and I know some of you were because I got a lot of comments saying that you guys wanted more Fazbear Fright books. Well, you guys are in luck because book six and book seven have been revealed. Book six is titled Black Bird, and Fazbear Fright book number seven does not have an official title just yet. Interestingly enough, Black Bird will be released on December 29th of this year, and book seven will not be released until March 2nd of 2021, which is next year. Something that's odd is that if you guys missed my post from a couple days ago um, on the community tab of the channel, we are getting a collection of Fazbear Fright books. Kind of like what we got with the main book series of uh, the Silver Eyes, Twisted Ones, and Fourth Closet, where we had a collection featuring those three books and then a poster added on, we are also going to get a collection of the Fazbear Fright books. It's unknown whether or not a poster or any other type of merchandise will be in that collection. So far, we just know the main five books are going to be in it. The collection will be released on the same day as book number five, Bunny Cole, is released. So it seems odd that books six and seven, only two more books would be left out of this collection. So I'm guessing we're going to get more Fazbear Fight books, which is really crazy to think about because this is seven books confirmed already, and we're possibly going to get more. That's insane to me. If I had to make a guess, I'm guessing it'll go up to 10. That is, of course, not official. We have no clue if that's the actual case, but it seems like that would be it. You know, you have one collection for the first five books, and then you have a second collection for the last five books. That makes sense in my opinion, but we only know of up to seven so far. One of the big things that happened in April was, of course, a lot of negativity around the fan base. There was a lot of stuff going on, not many people were happy about April for FNAF, and it really just wasn't a good year. I mean, month. I'm tired! We, of course, had the two leaks for the upcoming FNAF 2020 game, and then we had a fan-made model used in the UCN port trailer. Both of which were really upsetting, and they all happened in the exact same month. They were like a week apart too, so it really was not a fun time for April. Hopefully, things get turned around pretty fast, because that, that sucked. The leaks, as interesting as they were, really freaking sucked. You could tell just how devastated Scott was, and Steel Wolf still has not released an official statement on them, but I'm guessing they are going to feel a lot of what Scott is feeling as well. And then, of course, the backlash to um, the fan-made model used in the UCN trailer. That was, in my opinion, really freaking harsh. I don't think it should have gone that bad. Of course, it's not acceptable. This has been happening way too much recently over the past couple of years, ever since Scott has been giving out licensing to other companies. Just like the updated edition of the Freddy Files, where the map of UCN used a crap ton of fan-made models, this is the same thing. And it's been going on for a really long time. Um, another example, Steel Wool did it again with um, a teaser for Help Wanted where they had Spring Bonnie and Funtime Foxy, two of those were, uh, those two models were traced from fan-made models, and it's, it's really not surprising at this point that it happened. Even Scott admit, admits that the fan-made models look better, or look really similar to his own model, so you can see where the confusion was, um, and I was just still, I'm still shocked just how much people attacked um, Click Team and even Scott himself. I saw a lot of people calling Scott lazy 
um, and there were so many people yelling at Click Team, like, you guys are idiots, you know, the guy who did this should be fired. And I partly agree with the guy that should be fired part, but people were being really harsh, really unnecessarily harsh. Um, yeah, that's my personal opinion on it. Um, just overall, not a good month for FNAF at all, but hopefully May can be turned around because we're going to be getting a lot of stuff. Um, the Switch port, the, uh, the Quest port hopefully coming out this month as well, but um, no release date on that. We also have 1.35am coming out on the 5th. A new FNAF AR character would be expected for this month as well, because it's tradition to release one every month, but we haven't had any word on that, which does kind of concern me a bit. And then hopefully we'll get more information on FNAF 2020. Um, but in a better way, of course, from an official teaser, maybe even a, uh, a trailer, but hopefully something better than leaks. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I've recorded two videos today, and my voice is already killing me. I have the entire day to record. I'm the only person in the house. It's only 9 a.m. I have the whole day to record, and my voice is already going. I gotta wrap this up quickly. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more information coming, hopefully, very soon from official sources, and I'll see you all on the flip side.